Hiya guys, Spectre here, and welcome to, um, well, a World of, World of Warcraft video, since The War Within has just come out. Um, there's been lots of dev interviews leading up to, obviously, the release of the game, and, a, well, more than a handful of the devs have speculated about Xbox coming to Game Pass, which we know now Microsoft owned them is a very, very real possibility. Now, I did speak to a guy I've known a lot of years, because I've played the game since vanilla, this is just me and my guild doing a Killing Artificer when um, it might be our first Killing Artificer actually back in Shadowlands which is when I stopped playing um, I've spoke to a, a person recently who's now an ex-employee of Blizzard, a Blizzard. He's, um, he's, he's basically left to go to a different development studio he weren't sacked, he was between a different job he wanted to do something different um, but he did give me some information, which isn't solidified even on his end, as he said yet, because it's something that we're talking about in the office, and there were some people, but in a different department, working on it. And one of the things that they're working on is potential of bringing World of Warcraft, at, at least retail, he said. I mean, I, I would assume they'd bring Classic and Season of Discovery as well, but he did specifically say retail. So I'm going with that, what he said. So retail to Xbox Game Pass and the Xbox console itself. And that's supposed to be after the World Soul Saga, but before they start the next expansion or the next saga after World Soul. Now, obviously, not substantiated. I don't know. It could be hearsay. But the fact it's from somebody I knew who I played with in the game and who used to work for Blizzard. It's a better source than any other that is somebody I just don't know. This is somebody I've spoken to personally. We've been in the same guild, raid the same bosses. You know, we've had a good laugh together. So the fact that he's said there's a department working on it and ways to implement it means at least there might be something in the works or with along those lines. Now, obviously, World of Warcraft being brought to Xbox and to Game Pass is big, because obviously Game Pass would drop the price of subscriptions, which I'm assuming is going to be one of the harder things to try and figure out for Microsoft, because that means it'll have to be the same price for the PC users. Or, are they going to bring Game Pass up to the price of the World of Warcraft subscription. Because realistically they're making it cheaper. I highly doubt it. In a world where. There's corporate greed and companies want a lot of money. I don't see that happening personally. I think more than likely they'll bring Game Pass up to that price. In some way. But it's, it's what they factor in. To be able to do it. To be able to make that system work. And I think it's a great idea. It's one of the things that could push World of Warcraft's player numbers above that 10 million mark. It could revitalise the game in a massive way. But the game in the state that it's in now, like what I'm playing here, this is not what they can have. You've got far too many abilities. You've got far too much class bloat. You know, gear being irrelevant after... Just one raid tier. Um, God. Complexity of some of the bosses. I mean, the, that they could probably get away with, but they'd have to make like their own boss mods. They'd have to have something that could replace boss mods. And then just get rid of all third-party add-ons. Because third-party add-ons won't be allowed on the Xbox anyway. Otherwise, they'd have to have two different servers. One for Xbox players and one for PC players. Which would then basically kind of make it irrelevant. Because then you wouldn't have any more players on the PC servers. And the whole point of an MMO is the massive. The first word. Let's make it massive. So the more players you can get on those servers. And if they can also, what you mentioned to me is they're working on their own version of like server mesh and technology. If they can make that work where say, let's for argument's sake say all the European servers are merged together. All the American servers are merged together. If there's some way they can do that. That would be huge for the game. That would be a huge player draw. Because then it doesn't matter what server you're on. 
if their submission technology works the way they intend and you can play with everyone at the same time in the same area with little to no lag that's what an MMO is that's what you want for an MMO at least from the hardware side of things so there's two big important things there they're working on now whether the submission tech will be ready after the war within I don't know it depends how long they've been working on it if they've just started and let's say the word soul saga might take two to three years then it might not be enough time for them to complete it but as for the xbox game pass thing that's a matter of it being ported to the console and rather than them adding things to the game they're going to be taking things out because you're going to be getting rid of things that create problems themselves like add-ons add-ons don't need to be in the game and you look at most other like new release MMOs, they don't need add-ons. Not the way that World of Warcraft does. For World of Warcraft to be playable, you need add-ons, at least if you want to play at the, the top level. If you want to do Mythic Raids, Mythic Plus High Keys, or you want to do Gladiator Ranked PvP, you need add-ons. If you haven't got them, people simply won't take you. They'll take somebody who will take the add-ons, because it just makes it easier to play the game so i think if they if they tone down the bosses a little bit but they removed add-ons they'd find the difficulty it'd either still be the same or even harder because you wouldn't have all these like weak auras making boss mechanics relevant and some people might say oh they don't do that i'll redirect you to the jailer fight the jailer fight with the among us mechanic a dev took months to design that mechanic and a weak aura made it completely irrelevant in about 12 minutes. So yes, they do do that. And no mechanic should be brought into the game from a third party add-on and make a mechanic a developer's worked on irrelevant. That's not what they're supposed to do. That's not how it's supposed to be. If it's making the mechanics somewhat easier, maybe fair enough, because if the Blizzard had their own boss mods in the game, they'd probably do the same thing. But they wouldn't make a mechanic completely irrelevant. Otherwise, there'd be no point in mechanic of being put on the boss in the first place. So it's it's a stupid way to have something that's that detrimental to the game and that's not even part of the game. And when I started playing the game back in vanilla, we cores didn't even exist. Most boss mods didn't exist. I played all vanilla with no add-ons. I only had to bring in add-ons when we went into AQ40, and that's because our guildmaster said we had to have them. And that's when we first installed like a boss mods, and that was for AQ40. And then we did the first wing. We did um, we did one wing of natural mass, which was the spider wing. And then by the time we'd done that, the expansion was coming out like I think a couple of weeks later. So we basically just stopped raiding and just got ready for the burning crusade. So we didn't get to do the rest of natural mass. Um, but I think it could be a great idea to bring it on to Game Pass. And if they make it so the two the two worlds essentially merge, where you get the Xbox player base and the PC player base both together, and this submission tech might come in either at the same time or later on, where we can all play on the same like battle group or region all play together, that will be huge for the game, it'll be so goddamn good. And if they get rid of add-ons which is one of my biggest blights of the game, that the cancer at heating, eating away at World of Warcraft, it'd be great. Because you're not going to get teenagers now who are on the console, who are interested to play World of Warcraft. A lot of them have said they want to do it. Hundreds of thousands of them want to play it. Potentially even millions. Um, that they want to try the game out. But for them to want to try it out, the game needs to be simplified and younger people these days aren't going to, want to download 17 add-ons they're just not simple matter of fact now the hardcore elitist people might say oh good we don't care we don't want them in our game yeah but you want your game to still exist and so you can have a recruitment pool and some of these people might potentially be very good players even better than you so bringing in some new blood isn't a bad thing they've got to change the game a little bit I think it's time that World of Warcraft evolved with the times, because it isn't there. But 
that's um, my two cents on it, some information. If you guys would like to let me know what you think of the um, potential of World of Warcraft coming to um, console and a new influx of players potential for PC, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care everyone, have a great day, I'll speak to you all soon.